time mm -hmm. and they, they put their heads together and said, well, I mean, if we become a religion, that'll really work. But, I mean, they're, they're more than a religion. Well, they, you know? of course, yeah. I mean, they're, a, they actually are a business and yeah, they, they're worth exactly. a lot of money. Yeah, I, I totally am tracking with you on that. Um, because back, way back in early England, wasn't the Pope and the Vatican owning most of the land. Weren't Not they in America. That? No, but, but over in Europe. In yeah, England. I don't, I haven't. And I'm wondering if You that's... probably know more than I do, because I, I think so, but I haven't really studied it. The Queen claims to own all the land on the earth. <laughs> how, she, how she claims to do that and why she thinks she has the right, I really couldn't Well, say. and that would go back to kings and things of that nature, too. I, I'm not really sure. Their I mean, lineage, whenever it... Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, declared. it depends on who you read and what they yeah. say. And I heard so many things about the Queen. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it in this discussion. Yeah, that's okay. So, you know, here's what we are. Here's what I represent, okay? I'm working to recreate the government that used to govern our foreign uh, governments that we invited in. And that government is the assemblies of the people. That's what made our government by the people, for the people. The assemblies of normal people that understood the law. I'm learning to study the law because what's happening with the assemblies is we're all helping each other know what common law is. We All our courts used to be common law. In fact, the original law, and this is per the Constitution, law comes from the Bible. And none of our government, not the, not the Congress, not the Senate, they can't make laws per the Constitution. What they make are statutes and codes that govern fictional dead entities that have no life, like corporations. So all the things they make, and they call them lawmakers to trick us, actually they're supposed to only be for corporations. And when the federal government makes a law for people, it can, they can only govern the people that work for them. They don't, it doesn't affect us at all. But the problem is, if somebody makes you an offer of something and says, sit down, that's an offer of a contract, and then you accept it, you go, and you sit. You have just accepted their offer, and it makes it seem like they have power over you. And we've been doing that for centuries. Because they know any time. Well, I mean, because for 160 years, and now our parents did it, and then we thought we were supposed to do it, and then our teacher, our children, they're supposed to do it. And so everyone runs around doing what the government says. You know, um, right. Newsom makes mandates, which really only affects people working for the government of California, which yes. is a corporation. Yes. And then all the people run out and put masks on yeah. when they're not when they're not government employees. And furthermore, the mandate says if you have a health condition, yeah. you don't have, a, have to wear a mask. So all the stores start saying, if you come in here without a mask, we're going to you know throw right. you out and give you a right. ticket. And you say to them, wait a minute, I have a health condition. And yeah. they go, well, I'm sorry, we don't care about that. You know, Governor Newsom said to wear a mask. Yeah. So now what we have, we have a strange situation with an ignorant population that's behaving as though this fake government, which is a foreign nation coming into our country and moving way outside the bounds of the Constitution, where they're all behaving like these like, people have power over them. Right, and the difference between a mandate and a law. Is it, a law it, only comes from the Bible. That's it. Basically, a law is what we all have in common. We all know. We're not supposed to murder each other, or you're not supposed to lie about somebody, or you're not supposed to steal what's theirs. We all know this. You know, we know not to do these things, and that's common law. It doesn't matter, even if you're not Christian, you know. It's built into our very DNA that we just know these things. They feel wrong when we do them. And so that's actually what law is, and that is what our founding fathers all understood law to be. And there was a man named Bovier who spent his whole life as a counselor at law. Not an attorney. His attorney deals with dead things. A counselor at law. And, and this man, as he um, realized that common law courts were becoming fewer, he wrote down an entire book of common law, and it's called Bovier's Law Books. I've heard of that. Can you spell Bovier for me? Oh, God. I make mean, hard questions. B-O-U-V-I-E-R. Very good, ladies. I think so. Mm -hmm. That's how yeah, I would close it. Close enough, and I'm mm -hmm. sure Google will spell check us and give us the right connection. Close enough. And you can find it online. Uh, they have online Bouviers that are searchable by, you know, by search box. 
You can also purchase a, um, a replica of Bouvier's Law Book in hardbound from Amazon right now for a two volume set for $150. It's really almost impossible to find the original books when you do their thousands of dollars. But um, do you, uh